Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Sy in New York and welcome to this edition of Money Matters. There's always plenty to do when running your own business, but focusing on the wrong things and you might find yourself out of business. Here with a daily checklist, all entrepreneurs should keep in mind, small business expert and author of the book, You Can Still Win, Andre Taylor. Hey Andre, good to see you. Hey, great to see you, Stephanie. So is it common for small business owners to simply not know what their daily focus should be on? <laughs> you know, it, you'd be surprised, but it really can be. Entrepreneurship is exciting, it's creative, it's um, uh, profitable, but uh, maneuvering the cross currents can really be demanding. It is quite possible to uh, react to rough waters, uh, become distracted, and find yourself in a position where you lose sight of your destination, yes. All right, well, let's get into your entrepreneur's checklist. First, what are you looking at when you recommend focusing on sales? I mean, that seems obvious to me. Well, it does seem obvious, but I'll tell you, it's very often uh, an entrepreneur will forget that selling every day is something that they really need to make happen. You know, selling should not be a rare and extraordinary event. It's something that should happen on a daily basis. If you measure it on a daily basis, you are in a much better position to make sure that happens. All right. Next, you say it's important to track both products going out the door and clients serviced. Why is this so important? Well, this is important because you, you want to be sure that you're not in a position where you're servicing the, the same clients over and over. Uh, you want to see that number expand. You know, you could, put, you could find yourself in a position where because you're only servicing one, two, three, maybe a dozen clients, that you may find that uh, you're in a position where in, in the wake of a, uh, of, of a difficult situation, you may have a business that is about to collapse because you don't have enough clients. Right, so it's important to make sure you're continuing to grow the client base, essentially. Exactly. Why should entrepreneurs make sure to keep track of all proposals and pitches? You say even ones that aren't necessarily successful. Well, absolutely. First of all, you want to take a look at your percentage and see how successful you are and what really works. The other thing is today's pitches and proposals are tomorrow's revenue. So if you don't have a good sense of how many pitches and proposals are happening, you are once again in a dangerous territory and you may find yourself in a position where the business may decline. Okay. Well, staying on top of expenditures is obviously important, but I assume this goes beyond keeping all the receipts in a shoebox, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Just what I do. Absolutely. You, you know, one of the challenges in business is that we always want to make sure that we're not overspending. But we have to keep in mind that keeping costs low doesn't really do anything for revenue. So we have to not only keep costs low, but we want to be in a position where we also keep our revenue up. At the same time, keeping costs low does enhance our profit. So the more we are able to keep that number down, the better position we're going to be in ultimately to make that business uh, uh, successful. How often should you sort of precisely look at your expenditures and what's the best way to do so? Well, I think the, uh, the, the way to look at your expenditures is to really look at it on a daily basis and also be careful about long-term commitments. One of the concerns that I think every entrepreneur should have is making sure that they balance some of the issues that they're spending in terms of cash and some of the things that they're planning to do long term. This is why you have to look at your expenditures very carefully. Sometimes it's not something that you're spending cash on, but it's something that long term you need to be really careful about because ultimately you are going to spend cash on it. And you do say that you must keep track of your cash because running out of money obviously is not going to sustain your business. Yeah, cash is king. And uh, it, it, is, it is something that every entrepreneur knows over time that the more cash you have, the better position you're going to be in. You're going to be in a position where you can buy the things you have to buy, uh, take care of the expenses associated with growing that business. The other thing is it, it gives you a real psychological boost. Mm. When you have cash in hand, it makes you pr pr produce in a much more effective way. It makes you proceed in a much more effective way. Cash is really king. Are there good software or online tools that can help small businesses keep track of all of this? Well, Stephanie, this is really, uh, this is an exciting era for keeping track of your business day to day. One of the things we see that, that is exciting is that, yes, there's plenty of software available uh, from an accounting standpoint. You can track your revenues, you can forecast, you can do a graphical analysis. The other thing is there are loads of apps that you can download and actually do that on your smartphone. So you can walk around essentially 
run your business in your hand and keep track of what's happening on a daily basis. It is very exciting. Okay, out of all of you, these checklist tips we've just talked about, Andre, what do you think a small business uh, uh, owner should be sure to have in order above all else? I think the first one is really important, sales uh, and profit, actually. Uh, being in a position where you are conscious of selling every day. You know, one of, the, one of my clients, I once said to him, he was running a consulting business, and I said, listen, you would never think of having a retail business where you didn't have a customer in a day. And so if you run a consulting business, if you run a service business, you know, it's possible that you could go days and you not have a client. Uh, we don't want that to happen. We want a sale every single day. And not only that, we want to understand when we're selling, what percentage of that sale is profit. So we really want to have command of our business in that way and make absolutely sure that we're measuring that on a daily basis because that will make us more successful. All right, you have about 20 seconds to give us one final tip on getting the entrepreneur checklist off the ground, Andre. I think the one daily tip is to write these five points down, uh, put them in your, in your pocket, carry them around, make sure that you're measuring them every day, put them in your smartphone, uh, and during the day, go through that. Do, do a report for yourself and say, where am I here? And if it's not working for you, you're not making those things happen, pick up the phone, make some calls, make some things happen for your business. All right, small business expert Andre Taylor, thanks so much for being here today, Andre. Good to see you. Great to see you, Stephanie. Thanks very much. In today's Tech Bytes, Yahoo unveils a digital newsstand. Yahoo has developed an app for tablet computers and other mobile devices that serves up news and entertainment based on the user's interests. Live Stand will feature content from Yahoo and other publishers. It launches in the first half of this year. AT&T starts taking pre-orders for the Motorola Atrix on Sunday. The phone was one of the most buzzed about gadgets at last month's Consumer Electronics Show. That's because it plugs into a laptop top accessory, allowing users to take advantage of a bigger screen and keyboard. USA Today's Ed Begg says it's better as a phone than a laptop. I think Motorola's on to something. I think it'll get better in a future version when the implementation is a little bit smoother and hopefully prices will come down some. The phone costs $200 and $500 if you get it with the laptop dock. You can read Ed's full review on usatoday.com. And that's uh, for more on all these stories and all your tech headlines, check out the technology page of abcnews.com. That's all the money matters for now. I'm Stephanie Sy in New York. Stay tuned.